Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about five self-help books that I feel that are absolutely essential. Well, not essential, but amazing to be a part of your journey, especially if you're trying to um, get to a higher place within yourself. A lot of times the world that we live in, a lot of times people are um, walking around with a mask on and they're not really living in their truth so they appear as if they are doing fine everything's going well for them but on the inner layers when you peel back the layers you um, would see that that person is actually going through so much inside so much um, internal battles and it's on it's unhealthy for that person it's unhealthy for their environment to be trying to thrive in that type of space so I highly highly recommend and always say that you should always try to um, build up yourself within so that that can essentially come out without you even having to try without you even having to um, beat yourself up to try to appear a certain way because at the same time of trying to appear a certain way that is exhausting for that person no matter how much they try to appear perfect appear like they're doing it they're getting it done they have all these achievements nothing feels like an achievement when you are not at whole within yourself everything just feels as if it's just added on you know baggage because after one achievement you're going to keep on feeling as though you need to reach the next and i feel that a lot of times that also drills you onto a road of comparing yourself to others so most of the time when you're not fulfilled within yourself or you don't feel as if you are um, having any type of self work inside of yourself you start to look for it within other people or you start to look in with look for it with outside of yourself so i feel as though the best thing that you can do is if you cannot actually go to a therapist or if you cannot actually go to someone to help help you heal you can actually do that yourself and i say this because god has given us the power to um empower ourselves if no one else is going to do it then why not you try to do it yourself also even if you don't believe in god there's always someone securing you. The first step to self-healing always starts with following your intuition. So your inner self is going to tell you the first step to healing. Your inner self may say, like you may wake up one day and say, oh my gosh, I need to exercise more. Well, that is a step to healing yourself because being healthier and exercising and just getting all that energy out, getting all those um, thoughts and uh, suppress emotions out through exercise is a way of healing yourself so if you wake up one day and your body's like you need to eat better you need to exercise that's your intuition turning you in a way to say this is what your body needs we are with you every single day we know what's going on within you we need this or you may have have a um instinct to go to the bookstore like something like that that is called self-healing when you actually listen to your intuition and listen to the uh, subtle nudges that you get. So I'm sharing this with you guys because a long time ago, I had a inner nudge to go to the bookstore. And I told this story before on my channel, I picked up so many books at the bookstore. And these books have been with me my entire journey so for years and i am going to share some more books with you this time i'm going to mix in some of the journals that i have as well so if you are wanting to heal yourself these books are absolutely amazing right, so this first book i wanted to mention is called whispers of rest by bonnie gray i mentioned this in one of my vlogs a lot of you um probably didn't see my vlogs because there's like only a certain amount of my followers that watch my vlogs someone seen that i recommended this video and they came to me in my dms and let me know that they um love the book they have recommended i think she said that her and her um, friends have like a book club and everyone in the book club is pretty much reading the book as of now um and it has helped them so much so when it comes to this book whispers of rest it basically tells you each day you have i think it's yeah it's 40 days of god's love to revitalizing your soul so each day it tells you um it gives you like little prompts to do it tells you little scenarios on how 
you you can pretty much renew your soul because a lot of time our soul is taking on so much mess and if you feel as though your actual physical body gets dirty and needs a shower every now and then why wouldn't your spirit need the same thing At the end of each prompt there's a prayer for you to say um and it basically talks about how to heal yourself and little notes that God may have for you for that day. Now, I know this sounds super religious, like the book may sound super religious, but I like the way this book paints the image of God because it paints the image of God as a love figure rather than just like the way that religion paints God. So you don't have to like, if, even if you're not into um certain things you do not have to look at this book that way because this book actually gives like self-care tips and things like that so it really is a good book so i mentioned that some of the books that i was going to be talking about were kind of like journals so this is definitely a journal that i've had for years this is called the five minute journal and the five minute journal is uh, very unique to me because I originally got this book thinking that it would be a lot more in depth. The five minute journal is not in depth at all. You literally put a couple of things that you're grateful for, a couple of things that you um, would do, would like for, a couple of things that you would like to do to make today great. And then you put two daily affirmations and that's it. So at first I was like, oh my gosh, why aren't there more prompts? Why isn't this journal more in depth? But then as I thought about it, when you first wake up in the morning, because that's when you're supposed to write in the five minute journal, you're really not wanting to do a whole page of things that you're grateful for. And you're just, most of the time people are just waking up and they're not wanting to do all that. We'll say that um, I like to meditate better <laughs> because the five minute journal, I kind of run out of stuff, which I should not because I have so much stuff in my life to be grateful for. But this sometimes takes a lot of thinking, but it also lets you know where is your mind um, when you first wake up in the morning. Because if you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I, don't, I can't find anything to be grateful for. Then you know that you have a lot of work to do when it comes to being grateful. It has helped a lot for me. And um, just the small things can be like very big. Like the other day I wrote that um, I was grateful for all the opportunities that opportunities that come my way and that are co continuously coming my way and at first I was just like first I didn't even think about that I was just like oh well that's just my job like a lot of opportunities come my way but then I thought about it and like no there's some people who do what I do or there's some people who are not doing what I do who don't have that so that is something to be grateful for so the things that you feel that are super small and normal to you is someone else's wish and you should be grateful for that so this this um this journal really does help with that i really do love just like having that refresher of this book just trying trying to tell you that there's not a lot that you have to put but there are things in your life that you should be grateful for because like i said your normal everyday living is someone else's wishes so this book is going to continue to pop up on my on my um, book list because I really want you guys to eventually get this. So if you do get any of these books, tag me on Instagram, um, like in your story or in your post, because I love to see like if you guys actually went and picked up any of these books. So this one is the 10 messages your angels want you to know. Um, this is like the book that I highly, highly recommend on this list because it's so like I put it in my last video I told you guys that this was so so this is a really really good book like this author Doreen Bircher really went in and talked about all areas of life and did it in a way to where everybody can understand it no matter where you are on your journey and this will 1000% help you to heal yourself because you're going to read the 10 messages your angels want you to know and you're going to realize that um, a lot of things that we feel as though is like an issue it's really just God's like lessons to you so that you can go like super more far further on your journey. So when it comes to this book, this book is one that you can read one time and then go back another time and find more things. So this is a like a um, depth book 
And this is a book that you will want to go back to at different times in your journey. So the last time I read this book, so that was back in like 2017. And then in 2020, this year, I picked up this book again and started to read it. And I've seen it through a different perspective. Why? Because I am not the same person I was in 2017. So now in 2020, when I read this book, I see it completely different. So that's another thing. This book is like going to follow you on your journey. So each time you're going to look at this book differently and you will know if you're growing on your self-healing journey because your perspective is going to change. So this is another journal. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so this is called Practice You. So it's a journal that you will write in. So and remember how I told you that the five minute journal was super simple, not as in depth. Well, this practice you journal is more in depth. It, ha it has you to go back to your childhood and it um, actually focuses on the chakra. So if you're not familiar, your energy points in the middle, I'm not going to go into it in this video, but those of you who know, um, there are certain chakras that have different, um, like meanings to them so if you're a person who cannot be grounded for the life of you um it has a whole section on how to um trust and be grounded so um you actually will write down like your thoughts and it asks you what is trust to you what is faith to you um there's some things in here that ask you to write a prayer um so it says, this is my prayer for a clear vision and insight. So you will put a prayer right there on this page for what you wish to have as a clear vision. So um, I wish to be, I wish that my vision was more clear when it came to my career. And I wish that I had more insight on which steps to take. So that will be your prayer and you'll put it right there. And then on the next page, it tells you to write, a letter to like the nine year old you or the 21 year old you like what would you tell that 21 year old girl now that you're like 28 or however however old you are just use that as an example um so would you tell that 21 year old girl like back when you're 21 if you were like always worry about a job but now at 28 you're super successful would you tell that 21 year old like don't worry your job's gonna come at age 23 and you're gonna be at this place at this time so for me at age 21 i found the love of my life so i wrote a well uh not at 21 but at 20 i found the love of my life and so i wrote a letter to when it said uh to write a letter to your 21 year old self i wrote a letter to my 21 year old self telling her that um yeah like even at 21, I had just, you know, I was still early in my relationship because I met my boyfriend when I was actually 20. I was telling my 21 year old self to don't worry, this is man is going to be amazing for you and going to be a perfect match. So it was just fun to go back and kind of like tell her how that, tell the 20, her, it's me, I'm her. To tell my 20, 21 year old self how I was gonna meet my boyfriend um and where we were gonna go and vacations that we were gonna go on and stuff like that as future me so this book is created by a yoga instructor and it's instructor and it says on the back you are invited to come home to yourself to your radiant your ritual your courage your clarity your power your purpose your strength your softness your adaptability your acceptance your endurance your excellence so pretty much draws you back into yourself and helps you to reflect on what it is you're doing currently in life and also where do you want to be in a few more years so like i said highly highly recommend this one okay so this last book i want to recommend to you guys is called healing with the angels um and this is by the off author doreen bircher i have a lot of her books um so in this book these are pretty much just like prayers and um, stories of how the angels have helped people so it kind of goes into different areas of the life and also gives you like prayers for each area so let me see which page I can stop on so it also talks about law of attraction in this book as well has in here changing relationships in the spiritual path so there's sometimes where you go through life and your relationships are going to change and sometimes you're going to feel very down about that so it talks about like reasons why um you may be like 
experiencing that and why we experience change in our life because only thing that's constant is change and it's the most important thing so change is like evolution you have to change in your life okay guys so my camera cut off um it's going dead but i want to thank you guys so much for clicking on this video um all these books will be linked down in the description box for you um and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to stay um positive during this time and also just to stay positive in your life in general i'll see you guys in my next one bye